Hey guys, welcome back to Gigabytes Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and today we have something different for you guys. We're going to be showing you guys how to do some installation and DIY work on your Gigabyte desktop PC. You guys might have saw our unboxing video with Dennis where we took apart the inside accessories as well as talked about what types of I.O. you could see on this Gigabyte desktop PC. Today we're going to open up it up for you guys to see where all the components are. Alright guys, we're going to give you guys a different angle now. We have the unit lying down. Now this is that cover where we have the different I.O. So all we need to do is slide it that direction and it'll clearly just slide off. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Now to open it now, we only need to remove two more screws and we can actually show you guys the entire internals of this Gigabyte desktop PC. So I'm going to lift it up so you can actually see where those screws are. And the first one is actually right here, right below where the graphics card is. And the second is right here next to that network card. So again, that, this is the second one and here's the first one. So we're going to remove that right now. So just take your screwdriver. It's usually useful if you have a magnetic tip so you don't lose the screws inside the system. And of course to unscrew it all the way and we're going to remove that second one right next to the ethernet controller right now. Now that we have both of these removed, I'm going to lay the PC back down. And you can see with the Gigabyte facing this direction, I'm going to push downwards and I'm going to slide the whole unit out. So you just need to give it a little bit of force and once you have it slide, slide out, all you're going to do is you're going to gently nudge it out of its notches and lift it right out of the casing. So from here, you can see that we do have the, the upgradable memory available. These are using DDR4 SODIMM memory, so if you want to upgrade to 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or if you just want to change memory in general, you can do that as well. We also have that CPU section right here, so you can actually change or upgrade your CPU when you need to. And of course, lastly, we have an M.2 slot here, and this M.2 slot supports your mini, uh, supports your SATA signal as well as your PCI Express signal. So you can choose whether or not you want to use a SATA M.2 or a PCIe-based M.2. So let's flip the unit over, and then you guys can see what's on the other side. So right here, of course, with the unit still on that soft surface, we flipped it over. Now we're going to do the same thing to this side as we did earlier. All we're going to do is we're going to push downward and this casing should slide right off and you just lift right out. Make sure you don't force it gently and it will slide right out of its notches. So on this side you can actually see we do have the hard drive bay. So yesterday, uh, last time we showed you guys some screws that allows you to install additional hard drives. You can actually install a 2.5 inch SSD or HDD here whether or not you want to upgrade. Now this full length graphics card is right here and there's actually two screw, uh, three screws you need to remove to take that graphics card out. The first one is actually right at the bottom and it's right in here. So you can actually find a screwdriver and just unscrew that one screw and you'll be able to take the graphics card out. Now in order to properly lift that graphics card out, you'll need to remove the hard drive base. So there's one screw right at the center bottom of the chassis and then there's another screw at the right here, my right on your left. And once you have these removed, all you need to do is push in this direction upward and the hard drive bay will pop right out and you can lift it out of there and you can see that we have all these cables here the cables that power the graphics card now since the cables that power are actually hidden inside what we're going to do is we're actually just going to disconnect this power connector and before you push you need to make sure that you unscrew that screw in the front and you're just going to push upward and you can lift out that graphics card and put in the new graphics card that you want to install into your Gigabyte desktop PC. Once you've installed that, we're going to do the reverse of what we've done earlier. We're going to reinstall the hard drive bay, make sure you align the notches so everything fits in properly. And once you have that in place, you're just going to push the other way and you're going to screw it back in to make sure it's secure. 
All right, so I think that covers most of it for our desktop PC. If you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Gigabyte Motherboards, which is youtube.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. We always host different types of contests, so be sure to follow our Facebook page at Gigabyte Motherboards. We hope to see you guys next time. Again, my name is Leon Chen, and we'll see you soon.